Hey, brothers and sisters, today is May 24th, 2023. I just wanted to share a testimony that just happened of God's goodness and how he guides his sheep and his sheep hear his voice and he protects his sheep. He's just so good. So, um, Sister Carrie, Christ follower, she has a channel. Um, me, her, and Sister Stephanie, uh, Blessed Hope 117, we text each other and call each other all the time. And Carrie said in this text not too long ago, she said, I didn't tell you this earlier because I can't remember the details, Kim, but last night I dreamed of you and Skylar in a cabin in the woods. All I can remember was there was a bird with Skylar. Holy Spirit? She said, I can't remember other details. And I said, wow, Carrie, we are in a log cabin in the woods, you know. And then I went to this scripture, like a bird protecting, this is um, Psalm 91.4, like a bird protecting its young, God will cover you with his feathers, will protect you under his great wings, his faithfulness, will form a shield around you, a rock-solid wall to protect you. And I told her, and no one but God knew that last night I was starting to worry again about Skylar. See, my son has leukodystrophy um, several years ago. He was diagnosed with leukodystrophy, and the type he has is called vanishing white matter disease. And there's only like 250 kids in the entire world that have it. And um, basically what happens is the myelin sheath in your brain um, disintegrates and basically destroys the white matter in your brain and causes nerve damage and a whole bunch of horrible things that I'm not going to speak out loud or ever come into agreement with. So... <laughs> I told her, and no one but God knew that last night I was starting to worry again about Skylar. And I said, he is just so good. And then I sent her this picture of our house, which is a log cabin in the woods on 11.38 acres, which I had a dream, a vision about years ago before we even thought about moving anywhere when we were still in Florida. And what I saw was a rainbow in my face, like I was about to walk through the rainbow which always represents the rapture and for me. And then I saw a cross of light, huge cross of light in the, in the night sky with a black moon behind it. And then I saw 1138. And now we live on 11.38 acres. And 1138 in Strong's also means David. And we know that Jesus is the bright and morning star, the root and the offspring of David. It's just amazing. And then she said, yes, and the cabin in the dream looked like a bird's nest inside. Hard to describe. And then I sent this picture, which I've shared before. I saw this huge light come into the room, and I just felt led to snap a picture and this is my little boy bending down to pick up a little toy. And as I took the picture, this is what showed up. And it's literally a rainbow coming from the ceiling, which comes down. And it looks like a white feather coming out of the wall. And it looks like a perfect feather and the rainbow's in it. He's just amazing. So then I felt led to look up bird's nest in the word. And it says, basically, if you if a bird's nest happens to be, I, I think this is in Deuteronomy, if a bird's nest happens to be before you along the way in any tree or on the ground with your with young ones or eggs, with the mother sitting on the young, or on the eggs, you shall not take the mother with the young. It's like basically it's saying you're not going to separate the mother from the baby. 
And I said, wow, he's telling me through you that we won't be separated, that he is going to be raptured with me and not die. And it just, and then I told her, literally every time I start to worry, I'm going to lose him. He does this stuff every single time. Like he doesn't even, it doesn't even take long. It's just like right away. He's just so good. He's so faithful. He's just, he's such a good, good shepherd. I can't wait to be with him and thank him for all that he is, all that he's done for the glory of love. Love you guys. Hold fast.